What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today I want to talk to you about everything you need to know about Community Day starting Saturday, April 18th at 12.01 a.m. and ending at 11.59 p.m. on April 18th. This is the first time in the history of Wizards Unite that we actually have a day that is Community Day. It's an entire day, not just a window of a few hours. So I'm extremely excited about what this means for our registry in regards to the Magizoology family. You'll see uh, in just a minute, the quest steps are going to be geared towards a lot of the foundable fragments that we need, some really tough to find ones. Um, and I'm really excited to jump into this. So let's go ahead and start talking about the tasks. We're going to talk about the boosted spawns. We're going to talk about the bundles and everything that you need to know starting right now. So like I said, this community day will span the length of the entire day on the 18th and your local time zone. Uh, these are going to be based on stay at home mechanics. So a lot of the things you'll be doing will obviously be based on playing at home or playing wherever you are located currently. And all of these tasks are going to be driven and catered to players in one location. So for example, you can see the task list here provided by none other than Orange Wizard. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at those right now. Collect energy from the map two times for two unicorn hair. Collect, or excuse me, use a one tonic for trace detection for one unicorn hair. Earn 30 Magizoology Family XP for three Murtlap Registry images. Return 10 Mountain Troll Foundables for two Murtlap Registry images. Return 10 Demiguise Foundables for five Murtlap Registry images. And return five Picket Foundables for five Murtlap registry images. Once you complete all of those tasks for Community Day, you'll receive three red spell books, 40 gold pieces, and 300 wizard XP. So the thing about this is uh, you want to be really smart when it comes to your registry, right? Like you don't want to collect all of these Murtlap foundable images and then realize that you've been collecting them when you already have a full registry. So my advice for you is to keep a very close eye on exactly how many Murtlap foundable fragments you have so you know when you're prestiging your page. Hey, I can wait because let's say I've I've collected the first five fragments from those two steps there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and collect those five because I need those, prestige the page, then continue collecting rewards. So you're not wasting your rewards because I know back in uh, January when we had the Wonders of the Wizarding World Community Day, there were people that I warned against that and they forgot and they wasted their fragments and they regretted it. So please be smart and don't waste your fragments. If you play your cards right and you happen to have a few Murtlap fragments already, uh, you can really excel here in this event on the Central Park page for your registry because all of the foundables that you see on the Central Park Magizoology page will be boosted while using tonic for trace detection. So my advice to you is absolutely stock up on those potion ingredients. Tonic for trace detection potion ingredients are currently spawning all over the map uh, just because of the play at home kind of features that we are seeing in Wizards Unite. There's actually gonna be a really cool update that rolls out. That's a little bit of a spoiler alert for you in the next few days, uh, update 2.12 that you'll see another video of that is going to continue to help us play uh, from home. So looking forward to that. Also wanted to let you guys know about the bundles that are in this event. The bundles uh, for the store pack, there will be a complimentary gift, just like there is every community day. And inside of the community day complimentary gift, you will have 50 spell energy, six Bane Berry, four Bubble Docks Juice, four Angel's Trumpet, and two Erumpet Horns. Essentially, that is going to be the ingredients that you'll need in order to brew one tonic for trace detection throughout this event. There's going to be a bundle, uh, the community day bundle. It's 420 gold pieces. You can buy up to five of those. They're going to be five keys, one tonic for trace detection, and 50 spell energy. Uh, so those are going to be the two bundles for this particular community day. Now, I would be completely remiss to mention that, you know, I, I need a lot of these foundables. It's very obvious that this is a tough page to prestige. And one of the ways that they're going to help us prestige this page is with a one kilometer port key that is going to be special uh, to this event. And again, you can see an orange wizard graphic there uh, showing you exactly what is all entailed in that. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna try and pick up as many one kilometer port keys as I can because those fragments are going to be priceless. 
the things that you need are going to be very, very, very good for this event. I'm excited for Picket. Picket is a really tricky foundable. I've only seen a few, like I said. I think I have three right there on my registry page. So it's a very rare uh, commodity in this game. So you're definitely going to want to take advantage of this community day. And you are definitely, definitely going to want to take advantage of the event that we will be hosting um, on, uh, you know, community day itself with a bunch of the content creators. We're going to have a great time hanging out, group streaming, chilling, and all of that good stuff. So I look forward to seeing you there. And you can find all of that information for that stream on my channel. So if you did like this video, you can go ahead and leave it a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, you could go ahead and hit that red subscribe button as well and ring those bell notifications so you're made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content and you follow the channel, you'll get updates on when that stream is going to be happening as well as other things that I'm going to be dropping. I'm currently working on a script for um, Fortress Foundables and just kind of how to play smarter and not harder uh, in, in Wizards Unite when it comes to those runestone uses and things of that nature. So some really exciting things down the pipeline. New updates are coming, uh, new events are coming, and I can't wait to share all that information with you guys so make sure that you are subscribed and following the channels as well as my social links you can check those out there or in the description down below join us on discord and join in the fun thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you have a great day i hope you stay well stay safe and until next time peace